Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, but more on them later. Welcome back to the channel for another episode of our Pokemon VGC Road to Ranked in Scarlet and Violet. If you're a frequent on the channel, you know that this December has been a pretty rough month for me in terms of being able to work due to my back. However, we're here for a week of fun. My goal is to upload another five videos before the end of the year, and I want your guys' help with that. There's really two ways that you can help me. One, you could submit teams on Twitter using the hashtag ShadyVGC, or just do so in the comments down below because I read every single comment here on the channel. Include the rental code in the Pokepasta if you can, and the other thing you can do is make sure you're subscribed and you have notifications on. Since you want to upload more videos, I want to make sure you don't miss any of them. So be sure to always like and comment on the videos you see that helps push the videos out to all the other shady people. And speaking of shady people, today we are using a team submitted by Curtis. And the star of this team is going to be the Quaquavel, which we'll cover first. It's holding the clear amulet. It's got the water terror type for more offensive pressure with Aqua Step, Close Combat, Protect, and Brave Bird. Now the ability of this Pokemon is Moxie, which if you don't know, Moxie, when you knock out a Pokemon, you gain a plus one in attack. So the idea behind this Pokemon is you use Aqua Step to knock something out, which Aqua Step increases your speed by one stage. Combined with Moxie, it's like getting a KO and a Dragon Dance in the same turn. Close Combat obviously stab and hits like a truck. We have Protect and Brave Bird for coverage. Really good stuff. In the second slot, we do have Arcanine with Intimidate, which I honestly love Arcanine so much and I want to see it used even more. So I'm glad that we're using it today in a team. It's holding the Citrus Berry, so it's pretty bulky with Flare Blitz, Snarl, Will-O-Wisp and Protect. Will-O-Wisp obviously just being one of the best moves in the game, being able to have attack, especially when Intimidate isn't as strong because of clear amulet and things like uh, King Gambit's ability Defiant, which will actually give it a bonus in attack when I intimidate it. So we're not going to bring Arcanine if we see King Gambit, which kind of feels bad because it's a fire type against a steel type, but it is what it is. Speaking of steel types, the next Pokemon, Goldango, Choice Specs. We have Shadow Ball, Make It Rain, Dazzling Gleam, and Thunderbolt. Not much to say on this Pokemon. I'm sure we're all familiar with it now. It just makes for a great slot on the team. Steel Terra types to get rid of the ghost weaknesses since Annihilate is running around and increase the Make It Rain damage even more important. It's actually crazy because Steel is like one of the best defensive types in the game. If not the best, it's, it's, it's top three for sure. I just don't know exactly. don't want to feed you more wrong information. But the fact that it also just makes Make It Rain stronger is insane. In our fourth slot, we have Amoongus with Regenerator, Pyapa Berry, Clear Smog, Giga Drain, Rage Powder, Spore. This is a really important part of the team because being able to Rage Powder will allow Quaquavel to be on the field in front of threats that normally it wouldn't feel comfortable with, but Rage Powder can go ahead and redirect damage to the Amoongus. And thanks to Regenerator and Pyapa Berry, it'll, it's going to regain its HP at some point and sponge a ton of hits. This Pokemon also handles Dundozo with ease thanks to Clear Smog, and Spore helps Amoongus act as the Trick Room counter for this team. In our fifth slot, we have Dragonite with Inner Focus, so it cannot be flinched. This is not multi-scale, and it's important we remember that. It's holding the Choice Band with Extreme Speed, Dragon Claw, Iron Head, rock slide very very common it has the normal terra type so a very common thing to do is to go for normal terra type choice band extreme speed does like 30 to 35 percent to most things if not more depending on how frail they are like a like a mouse hold yeah that thing is going to get wiped off the face of the earth and finally we have murkrow with the covert cloak i like this rock and prankster with taunt foul play screech and tailwind now this i saved this for last so i know some of you guys skip around the team preview but if you're here this is awesome screech murkrow prankster's going to go ahead and make it a priority screech which makes quavel have the ability to knock things out that it normally would not knock out now i won't be doing live damage calcs today so i'm going to be doing a lot of guessing which should lead to some shenanigans but i'm hoping we see a lot of screech into aqua step to catch my opponent completely off guard the rest of the moveset pretty standard though hey you can't taunt other murkrows all right i know this i misspoke i'm sorry now with the team recap out of the way here's an important announcement i'd like to thank today's video sponsor squarespace squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform and for anyone trying to grow online Line, having a central hub to send your audience or customers to is critical. When growing a brand, you're going to find yourself wanting to have a single place to put all of your content, whether that's blogs, photos, or videos. Speaking of videos, be sure to check out their video studio, which makes creating professional videos effortless. Videos crafted for specific social media platforms perform way better than those that aren't, so this tool is a must. And speaking of socials, you'll also be able to link all of your social media accounts back to your Squarespace website with just a few clicks. And with your central hub ready to go and people find Finding you through those high quality videos you've been making, you'll be able to use Squarespace's analytics to see what content is working on your website to keep viewers there and even where they're coming from. So be sure to check the link in the description for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com shady and use code shady at checkout to save 10% on your first order. Thank you so much a ton to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video, but now back to Pokemon. All right, first battle of the day, we're gonna see Lilligan Torkoal, which man, this team is running around. We have Garchomp, Oranguru, Mimikyu, and Annihilate. So the good news is, is that Brittany, the Kukwavel, 
kind of does good work. Obviously, the sun is a bit of a problem for us. I'm going to want to try to take advantage of that somehow. We don't have a fake out user. Ooh, this is a pretty, this is a pretty tough matchup, huh? Um, I should be able to taunt the Lilligant. And I'm almost thinking, I don't know who's slower, Amoongus or Torkoal. It's really close though. It's really, really close. I almost think I open up Brittany and we just go for damage on Torkoal to make Eruption do nothing. Like I, if, if they open that, they might open Mimikyu, which has the Trick Room, obviously. I have to bring Amoongus in case my opponent does decide to go Trick Room. Uh, I don't want, I feel as though Arcanine is not super important here. It does really impacts the Annihilate and the Garchomp and the Mimikyu, I guess. Goldango doesn't feel too great. At least Dragonite resists the fire. So I think we're gonna go with that. That was so weird. It didn't even show our trainer cards. That was really weird. Okay, we're gonna see Oranguru and Annihilate. I forgot how good these Pokemon look. Oh, we got Shinies galore, baby. Uh, Let's see. So Oranguru is the Instructmon and then we have Annihilate. So you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm gonna put this to the test. I'm pretty sure Quaquavel's not faster than Annihilate. So let's do this. Let's, ooh, ooh. We could see a Trick Room here, right? That's totally possible. I say let's Screech the Annihilate and let's protect. Oh, we could just Brave Bird though. Oh, it's so tempting. All right, here we go. We're gonna Tailwind and I'm gonna Brave Bird the Annihilate. And I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna Tailwind and Brave Bird. I know it's not Stab, and Annihilate's kind of bulky, so I think this might have been a mistake. Let's see. Oh no, it lives on four, bro! I'm gonna get smacked in the teeth on a Thursday afternoon. Final Gambiting, my Murkrow does nothing, of course! Okay, that works out great. You'll love to see that, especially when I'm Eviolite, so, okay. We're gonna see a Trick Room here, which is it's a little problematic. Is this, am I just gonna fall prone to, to Instruct? I think I'm just gonna fall prone to Instruct, man. It, it, uh, the the Torkoal's coming out. The Torkoal's absolutely, yeah, Torkoal's absolutely coming out. Okay, here's my only hope. I'm gonna spell my only hope for you guys. I am going to, so here's, a, there's a couple things we could do. We could Taunt to stop the Instruct, but I'm pretty sure this thing is gonna run Mental Herb, the Oranguru. I'm gonna Screech the Torkoal. And, ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna screech the Torkoal. We're gonna learn if Torkoal or Amoongus is slower today. I'll tell you that right now. I think screeching the Torkoal is the correct play. I think Quaquavel's gonna go down. There's like nothing I can do. Uh, e even though even though it's an eruption, I can protect. I'm gonna protect. We're gonna see if we can somehow save this shiny star. Ooh, is it Terra Fire for maximum damage output on your Torkoal under Trick Room? Really sad stuff for me, I'll tell you what. Man, oh, I guess I just have to lead Amoongus, but he definitely final gambits my Amoongus in that instance. He definitely does. I guess we double taunt? I don't know. I don't know what the right play is there. We're gonna screech the Torkoal because I think my only hope is extreme speed. Because extreme speed is like, you know, it buffs based on priority. It doesn't, Trick Room doesn't stop it from going first. It's, the, it's, it's a plus priority. Trick Room is based on the Pokemon's speed. So we're gonna see an eruption, obviously just destroy Murkrow, like immediately. And I'm hoping that a minus two, if we go choice band extreme speed, right? Choice band extreme speed, and we normal Terra at minus two defense. I'm hoping that it does enough to just make the Torkoal not do any damage. Cause I, we could, we could learn, right? I could spore, I could spore with Amoongus. Let me see. I guess four, I'm not damage calcing. I will not damage calc. But I know Amoongus' speed is 30. I just don't know Torkoal's speed. I'm gonna try my plan. And then it, it'll probably fail and then we'll learn and we'll lose because maybe Amoongus is the right play right now is to go ahead and go in. But I, I feel like, I don't know. We're gonna Terra Normal. We're gonna Extreme Speed. And I've already protected. I'm going to Aqua Step into the Torkoal in case the Dragonite doesn't pick up the KO. All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and normal Terra our Dragonite. Remember, choice band, now stab extreme speed into a minus two Torkoal. Now Torkoal's naturally very bulky, so I don't expect this to knock it out. My hope is that it puts it in a range where Eruption does like 30 damage to my Quaquabble. Like that, that would be ideal. Let's see, how much does this do? <laughs> Yo! 
Okay, not gonna lie. I did not expect that damage. Oh my goodness. What? Okay, yeah, Murkrow MVP. Screech is OP. Screech is actually OP. That's really good to know. That's really good to know. I am so happy with my decision now. Uh, we're gonna get a speed boost here, which obviously under Trick Room, not great, but Trick Room, I think, only has one turn left. And my opponent is going to send out their final Pokemon, which is a Guard Chomp. Ooh. Okay, so I don't know if uh, Oranguru gets Quick Guard. I feel like it doesn't, so I'm not too worried about this. I'm, I'm locked into Extreme Speed if I want to be. Like, I could swap out technically into Amoongus here. Um, because I could see if if you have Telepathy, can, that means you could dodge Earthquakes, right? I think our best thing to do is just go for the Extreme Speed here. Uh, there should be one more of turn to Trick Room, which, oh, there's two. Okay, then I just have to risk the uh, the prote Protect here, I think. I have to risk just not protecting, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, we do protect. And then if Dragonite goes down, the battle was canceled. I'm doing all this talking for no reason. Let's go. I take that Screech as a W. There's our battle cards. Ooh, shiny Scizor, that's awesome. Let's jump into game two. All right, my opponent for our second battle. Look, it's... <laughs> It's a very similar team that we've used before, right? It has the Tatsuguri Dendozo and the Tyranitar Lycanroc, but Sylveon and Meowskrata on the team. Also, the, the Rital Code that a lot of people use has the Tyranitar and Lycanroc on top. So this is not the same exact team, so we can't hold it to those standards. However, I still think Lycanroc Tyranitar is gonna be a lead against my team. Because of that, even though my, Ar my Arcanine's weak to rock types, I'm gonna lead to get the Intimidate off. We know that the Lycanroc runs Focus Sash Endeavor, so we wanna watch out for that. I think being able to Will-O-Wisp Tyranitar is gonna be very, very huge. Uh, we could also just lead Goldango and like click make it rain. That might be, that might, I think we just lead Arcanine Goldango. And in the back, uh, the Amoongus has to come for the Tatsuguri and Dendozo core. And I think we also bring, I mean, I, I really wanna feature, like Brittany doesn't do awful. Brittany doesn't do awful because I could swap in on turn one after intimidating and I resist rock type moves. So that's probably a pretty solid stop. All right, here we go. Green Eyes opens up a Tyranitar Lycan Rock as you do, as you do with this team. So we're gonna intimidate hopefully both of these Pokemon. We do intimidate both of these Pokemon. The Sandstorm is going to get set up but because my intimidate went off before Tyranitar Sandstream, I am faster than Tyranitar. So what can we do with this information? We can pretty much either A, Guarantee a Will-O-Wisp on the Tyranitar, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with my original plan and not take Rock-type moves. So let's just go for a Make It Rain. I'm not gonna Terrestrialize because the Lycan Rock is gonna hold on regardless, and I don't think that Terra Steel Make It Rain will one-shot Tyranitar if it flying Terra's. If it doesn't flying Terra, then yeah, it would, but it is what it is. Let's see what we got. We're gonna see Terra turn one, probably flying type from the Tyranitar. There it is. Show me that flying type. Okay, balloons on your head, but don't call you a balloon head. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I could have steel Terrid and gone for the Make It Rain. Probably would have done a ton of damage. We're gonna see a Rock Slide here. Uh, Goldengo actually dodges the attack. Quabble gets hit by one. Not a big deal. We do resist it. Make It Rain comes out. Uh, we're gonna see a nice amount of damage there. Huge damage. Uh, Focus Ash, of course, gonna hang on with a Lycan Rock. Uh, Goldango's speed is going to fall. Assurance is gonna come through on the Goldango, but I'm gonna survive that just wonderfully. Now, I would think my opponent wants to endeavor my Quaquavel because I uh, will go down to Sandstorm. So I'm gonna go ahead and protect my Quaquavel, and I'm gonna click Make It Rain again. If my opponent outplays me, then so be it but I think this is my best position right here. I actually don't want to knock out the Tyranitar with my Make It Rain, so I'm not going to Terra Steel. I want to save that for Quavel. So if I can Aqua Step into that, we can get that dra that pseudo Dragon Dance I was talking about during the team breakdown. Let's protect our Quavel. Hopefully you endeavor into that slot, please. Yes, okay. Back off, okay, I don't feel like, I, I felt like I was behind the eight ball as soon as I saw the team at team preview, but I feel like I'm doing really well here. So the Endeavor trick is not going to happen. Oh yeah, I had my minus one special attack as well. So even if I Terra Steeled, I wasn't taking out that Tyranitar at all. Uh, not at all. And then we're gonna see what, another Assurance into Goldango. That's fine. Goldango, you did your work. I never thought I'd be happy to trade a Goldango for a Lycanroc, but I am very much so. Also, we took a, we chunked, a, we did a huge chunk to Tyranitar. So it wasn't just the Goldango that we took. Uh, it wasn't just the Lycanroc that we took care of. Uh, now I will go out into Arcanine and I think we'll see either Tatsugiri or Dendozo come out. Now that's fine. 
because I can will o this Dendozo right now. We'll get an Intimidate off, which is great. And then I'm going to will o the Dendozo. It's very possible that Tyranitar swaps out here potentially, but I don't really see it. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to take too much advantage of Kukwabo against the Dendozo anyway. So I think our best thing to do is just to go ahead and Aqua Step into Tyranitar, which should take it out and then go for the Arcanine. Is there a chance that Aqua Step doesn't take it out? Not super effective, but it is base 80. Looking at that HP bar, I really think that we will take it out no matter what. I don't want to use my Terra when I could just Terra Grass uh, potentially later, and that might be important. Um, I think we just go... Yeah, I, I think I go Aqua Step. It should be enough. I'd be very surprised if it's not. And then we're going to will o the Dendozo. Aqua Step, please be enough. Not that Moxie matters at all right now, but it is, thankfully. Okay, I was a little nervous. I haven't really used this Pokemon much besides today. So I was a little scared, but we took down the Tyranitar, got our speed boost and incoming Moxie boost, which unfortunately doesn't matter too much because of the Nendozo's unaware that I will never forget about again. Landing a Will-O-Wisp, though. I don't think Fire types miss Will-O-Wisp anymore. I can't remember. I know that is in some fan games, but I don't know if that's in the official game yet. We'll see what it is. Dendozo does get burned. Earthquake is going to come through. Not going to do too much thanks to the burn. It's not stab. Even Arcanine's going to eat that so well. Kukwavl's going to take the first Sandstorm uh, damage because that's what Kukwavl does. Uh, Arcanine here going to take some, and then Dendozo takes the following. There should only be like two more turns of sand anyway, which will be nice just for the speed of the battle. Now, I'm sure Tatsugiri is coming out. Uh, we're going to see this Tatsugiri here. Commander, jump on in. Going to gain a ton of profitability now, unfortunately. Uh, our attack boost doesn't matter, like I had already stated. I think I just want my my Kukwavl to go down as soon as possible so I can smog, clear smog. I don't know, it depends on this. A lot of Dendozos don't run water type moves, so it depends on this Dendozos moveset more than anything. I'm just gonna go for stab close combat, and I'm going to, I mean, I could snarl, but there's, it doesn't really do anything. I could protect the scout, but that also doesn't do anything. Um, Amoogus does just win against it, no matter what. So I'm not too worried. But the only thing I'm worried about is like not being able to, like if this thing starts getting plus one attacks with with um, Order Up, and then it can somehow one-shot my Amoongus, which is semi-possible. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap Arcanine out into Amoongus because if it does have Water Stab, it's going into Amoongus. So I think that's the right one. I think it's the right play. Arcanine, get back here. Bring me my Mushroom Soup, please. My reliable partner. Thank you so much. You're so reliable. Close combat here. Not gonna do much at all. Gonna decrease our defenses, sadly, but you know what? It is what it is. Uh, and this is only at plus one attack right now because of the Intimidate that we had given it. Tatsugiri dodges, how? How? Crazy. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it though, maybe we have to save our Kukwavl for the Tatsugiri when it comes out. Oh, I think that's trusif. I think that's so true. Okay, we are going to swap our Kukwabble out this turn. You know what's good? You can think of your whole turn right now. Uh, you don't have to use your, your U time. I'm gonna swap my Kukwabble out now and go into uh, Arcanine again. And then I am going to, eh, I think I just Giga Drain. I don't think I clear Smog. No, I do clear Smog. I gotta get rid of those defenses. Uh, let's clear smog. I was thinking like, oh, you know, we're bringing his attack down to neutral. Uh, clear smogging is pointless, but it's not because those defenses are buffed. So let's go ahead. We'll go into Arcanine. Get another Intimidate off. Not that it matters too much. We'll see if you're going to Terra. Are you going to Terra Dragon here because I threaten with the Giga Drain? No, you can't. You're already Terra Flying. So you are locked into this. Here's the order up, which we're going to see, of course. There's that attack boost now that you've swallowed a uh, commanding Tatsugiri. Clear smog though, gonna go ahead and get rid of that immediately, which this puts us pretty much in like, there we go, Sandstorm, thank you so much for leaving. You were just making this so much longer than it needed to be. Oh, I know you guys have music, but it's just so much quieter here without that Sandstorm hustling and bustling now. I'm just gonna go for little boy damage. We're gonna Snarl and I'm gonna Giga Drain. And I think that's, this This just puts us in the winning spot, right? There's there's, there's really not much else that this this thing can do to me. It can order up and start gaining attack boost, but I, it's burned, dude. It's not doing diddly squat. All right, we're gonna see the Snarl go out, obviously dodging the Tatsugiri. Earthquake comes through. It's not gonna do much to either of my Pokemon right now. Look at this, Arcanine is eating. This is a bulky, bulky dog. Here's the Giga Drain, which is gonna be absolutely destructive. Oh my gosh. Mushroom beats catfish every day of the week. 
That is insane. We'll see the lefties burn. Let's get to the next turn. So just to assert my authority, I am going to flare blitz this thing and then I am going to Giga Drain. That's right. Flare blitzing the Dendozo is the play for me. And Flare Blitz takes it out! I almost took a nap, Arcanine. Thank you for waking me up. My opponent took the entire time to make his turn. And I was just staring blank into the sun. Uh, we're gonna get Giga Drain off on Tatsugiri. I could have spored there and that would have been OP. If I would have spored on that turn, that would have been insane. But we can obviously get a spore off as well. I'm gonna snarl and I'm going to spore on this turn. Hopefully my opponent just cancels the battle because come on. You're not, you're not 1v3ing with a sushi. I might 1v3 with the sushi and go for it. You know what, you should do it, go for it. You got this. All right, here we go. Wait, are you serious? They took the, they took the entire turn to click protect. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pop off. We're gonna stay level-headed and I'm gonna win this game. I'm once again going to click Snarl and Spore. Tatsugiri, you know what's good? Once you're sleeping, you're not protecting anymore. Please take another 30 seconds of my life. All right, here we go. Snarl is going to come through against the Tatsugiri. Lower that special attack. You love to see it. Icy wind coming out. That's a strong turn. That's a strong turn, Tatsugiri. I can respect it. I can respect it. Guess what? Go to bed. Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry, the speed's got to drop. Let's just cut that. Go to bed. You don't even. Yeah, you saw it. I can't cut that out. Arcanine's chewing on a berry. I can't let you miss that. When a good pup. Whoa, yo, one of the best things, if you have a dog, uh, check with your vet, but I like to feed my dog apples and I just hold, ah, 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 it's so cute. Thank you, now go to bed. All right, I'm pretty sure we all know how this goes. I'm gonna flare blitz a, a piece of sushi and cook it and then I'm gonna giga drain it because it's super effective. Is it super effective? Are you pure water? Are you a dragon? Why did it say super effective? Did it, oh, the, the moves, so that's a kind of a bug in this game. The moves will say super effective, but really it's checking the first slot, the Dundozo slot. I really wish they would put an if then statement, like if there's only one Pokemon on the side of the field, like check that one, not just always the left slot, but it is what it is. And this thing has a berry. Okay, peace be still. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna swap out into Quaquabble on this next turn. I'm absolutely gonna swap out into Quaquabble on this next turn because uh, this is this is just the longest battle for actually no reason. Let me close combat you. You didn't lower the accuracy. Thank you! Oh, bless your soul. We got ourselves our second win after the longest battle since 1912. Let's jump into the third one. All right, here we go. Team number three, Murkrow. Hydra we haven't seen a Hydreigon today yet, so I'm down. Garchomp, Arcanine, and Breloom. Oh. That is the opposing Kukwavel, grass fighting as opposed to water fighting. I'm sad. Um, what do we do here? This is a really tough team to crack. I'm not a huge, I mean, this is a, this is a well-crafted team. I like this. The Breloom's really kind of stepped me, keep me a little spooked. So Brittany is still pretty good against this team, right? I, I have a clear amulet, so I can't be intimidated. If I lead Brittany and then something that can handle Breloom, I mean, Brittany can handle Breloom with Brave Bird. I kind of can. I think we actually lead Brittany Arcanine against this team. I'm gonna bring Dragonite in the back because he's got two dragons and I'm bringing a dragon of my own if you're gonna have two dragons, this is insane. Uh, and then I think that we go with the Murkrow because Tailwind is an obvious choice on my opponent's side of the field. And if a, if my opponent gets Tailwind up turn one, I just wanna have the option to put that up on turn two if one of my Pokemon goes down. All right, oh, look at that beanie though, dressed for the winter, respect. We have Hydreigon and Breloom. Okay, I'm I'm pretty much a fan of this of this lineup here. This is this is not bad, right? We're gonna intimidate the Breloom, which should be nice. I don't know what else Breloom wants to do, but it wants to do something. I think we're gonna protect our Quaquavel. And I am going to I think I flare blitz the the Breloom. I don't know Breloom's speed off the top of my head. I know Quaquavel's 85, I think it is. Uh, I think Breloom is very similar. Very, very similar. Because I could Brave Bird, but I think then. Actually. I don't really want to close combat the Hydreigon. Oh, it probably would one-shot, but I don't know how to speed it, but is it going to one-shot me? I have decent, semi-decent bulk. If you're Specs, though, I'm down. All right, let's protect, and let's go for a either a Snarl or a Flare Blitz. I kind of go Snarl to break a potential Sash. You know what? Let's go learn the hard way. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Flare Blitz. I think I think a, a really good opening play could have been to Snarl if this Breloom is Sashed. Ooh, we're going to see a Snarl from the Hydreigon. Interesting, whoa. Okay, he, he, I guess they assumed special Arcanine here. Uh, we're gonna see a Bullet Seed go into the Kukwavel slot. This is where we're gonna learn, did I make a terrible blunder? Let's find out. Flare Blitz, right here. There's that Focus Sash, unless we snag a burn somehow, which I don't even know if Flare Blitz actually does burn. 
uh, that's something that they took away. Uh, maybe it never burns. I don't think flare bullets can burn. Uh, this is rather unfortunate. If I knew exactly what Breloom's speed is, I would honestly stay in and click Aqua Step. Should we just learn it together today? Because I, I I said I wouldn't damage Calc, and I don't know if that means that like, ah, uh, does that mean that I'm not going to look up speed tiers? Kind of, it kind of does. I just remember Breloom being pretty slow. I know, but I'm not, I have my team up here. I know that I'm adamant and not jolly. So that's a really, you know what? For the content, should we do it for the content? Cause like Aqua Step here can be pretty huge. Um, you know what? For the content, I'm gonna do it. And I'm going to, I think, fire off a snarl against this Hydreigon as well. Uh, just to go ahead and, you know, do 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 the thing. All right, Snarl's gonna come out. Oh my gosh, that's so much damage on Arcanine. Is that a crit yet? Yeah, has to be. All right, Kukwabble, please. Get your Moxie, get your Moxie speed boost. Be faster, be faster in the name of love. Otherwise I just lose my Kukwabble for no reason whatsoever. I could have swapped out of the Dragonite easy. Yes! <laughs> Easy mode, I could have swapped out of the Dragonite. All right, we're in there like swimwear, baby. That is plus one speed on the Aqua Step. We take the Breloom out, which means we're gonna get plus one attack thanks to Moxie. And uh, as long as uh, nothing comes in to intimidate me, we're gonna be sitting with a nice Kukwabble boosted. Uh, we're not faster than Hydreigon, but I'm having a feeling this thing is specs. I don't know. It just seems like it's doing a lot. It's doing a lot. I know it was a crit, so the crit's kind of throwing me off, but that Snarl seems very strong. We're gonna see my opponent go out into, oh, a Murkrow. All right, I'm gonna full send. I am going to close combat this Hydreigon and I am going to uh, Flare Blitz. I might even Terrestrialize Flare Blitz. No, no, we have no, we're at such low HP. If I get taken out right now, I'll be so upset. There's the Tailwind. Let's see. Are we gonna see another Snarl? Yes, okay, your specs. You're locked into that for sure. That wasn't a lot of damage on Arcanine, actually. That crit really did throw me off, huh? We're gonna CC and take this High Dragon out. Get out! Moxie is popping off right now. That's plus two. Send something else out, let's do it. Now, I, I now I'm kind of hoping, here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that we are gonna see my Flare Blitz take out my Arcanine here, which it definitely should. I have like no HP left. I have like nothing left. Okay, you're Eviolite Light though, so maybe it doesn't. Let's see. Oh, we do, it can burn. We got an answer to our question. I love that <laughs> comment. Sorry, I know you also answered it, but here we go. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna see. Oh, okay. I have a, I have a really good I have a really good way to win this game. I have a really good way. I can just pr protect with Quabble. And let's see who's sleepy. Sleepy. We have Sleepy the Garchomp. That's cute. I like that name. Uh, let's see. Aqua Step is what 80. So close combat's just as strong. We don't need to Terra. I can protect. And I mean, I think that I'm getting taken out no matter what, but I'm gonna Will-O-Wisp the Garchomp just in case my opponent decides to single target Michael Quabble. Uh, we're gonna see, oh, is that fire? I, I, you know what? I still sometimes forget that you can just change. Oh, it's ground. I was gonna say, I can just forget. You can just change your typing all willy nilly, which is just broken, but I could do it too. We're gonna see ground, pure ground Garchomp come through. We're gonna see earthquake then no matter what. Uh, Arcanine, you know what? You did so good today. You did like phenomenal and it's not even the last battle yet, but you are you were an all-star. Uh, I want my Arcanine to go down because I want my Murkrow to come out. And because I have a plus one speed, I'm pretty sure Kukwabo will outspeed the Garchomp under Tailwind, unless it's Choice Scarf, which is also possible, obviously. We're gonna see a foul play from the Murkrow. That would that would just destroy me, honestly. Uh, even though I'm, I resist it, it doesn't matter. That's gonna destroy me. Although he is burned. Mm, does, it does take that into account. Foul play does take that into account. So we can do a couple things here. We could go into Dragonite and we could Dragon Claw because this thing, if it's choice, he just loses. But I wanna go with my Kukwabo star. Uh, Dragonite wins us the game no matter what at the end of the day. Uh, but for now, let's go into our Murkrow and we can set our own Tailwind up here. So let's go for a, uh, a Terra Aqua Step and then let's Tailwind. I think this is the correct play. I could be wrong. If, if the Garchomp is Choice Scarf, this is the wrong play every time. Uh, Terra Ing might be a little extra and not necessary because I am at plus two, but I'm gonna take the extra bonus. Uh, realistically, just going for close combat is kind of acceptable, but now that Aqua Step is super effective because he's pure ground, this is what I want to do today. I want my Terra Terra Carnival Duck to pop off. There we go. Aqua Step boosted by the Terra. Gonna knock you out easy mode. Get out. I don't want to hear it. Get out, Garchomp. You gotta love when a starter takes out a Suda. Feels real good. Although, a bird is about to destroy me with foul play, so. 
It's kind of like, you know, it's like horse gun shoe or what was it? I forgot what it was. It wasn't gun. It was horse. Was it gun? No, it wasn't. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Foul play from the bird into my duck. Yes, you're gone, Kukwavel. I'm sorry. You've danced your final dance in this battle, but you did a ton of work. You really popped off in this one. I'm really glad we got the feature. Hope you guys are enjoying. Leave a like if you are. It helps the channel a ton. I learned that the hard way. And I have to ask because if you don't ask, you don't receive. Is it just Murkrow left? We've gotten rid of Hydreigon. We've gotten rid of Garchomp. We've gotten rid of... Maybe that's it. I think... No, hey, we've gotten rid of something else. What was your last Pokemon? It was so forget... Oh! It was so forgettable. Uh, oh, that's right. The Breloom. It wasn't forgettable. That was a great Pokemon. You did good. Uh, we can just E-Speed here. We can E-Speed and Screech. Actually... Hold on. No, we want the Screech to get off, right? Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and Dragon Claw, and we're gonna Screech. We're gonna just show the Screech. The battle was canceled. Just let me show you my Screech. All right, that's gonna be three in a row. Let's see, can we snag a fourth? I, I, we will see. All right, the final battle of the day, and it is a Trick Room team. If I've ever seen one, uh, we have Armor Rouge, we have Meowskarada, we have. This is such a tough team to crack. Lilligan, Torkoal, Sylveon, and Indeedee. So, how is there anything I could do? I mean, Amoongus has to come. Do I lead Amoongus Murkrow? Do I taunt the Lilligan so it can't after you and then spore the Torkoal? It stinks my opponent has two really good lead options in this team. Lilligan, Torkoal, and then Armourouge and Didi. Does that stop Armourouge and Didi as well? A little bit, but not really. If I had a different terror type on Amoongus, I could feel feisty. Um, oh wow, that's really hard, huh? That's really, really hard. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, is there any other option I could do? Uh, E-Speed, Gar, uh, Dragonite, won't take out the Ndidi. I don't think I have Earthquake on this Dragonite for spread. I have Rock Slide. Ah, oh, that could work. You know what? I think I lead Dragonite? Amoongus to cover both potentially? I don't think that covers both. Oh, I'm 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 gonna get washed here. I am absolutely way I, I am out of my depth with this one. Okay, she, oh, wow, your hair is wonderful. In DD Arm Rouge. Okay. She went in DD Arm Rouge, which honestly for me is like the better lead choice. Like this this works out a little bit better for me. Because we can get a choice banded rock slide off. And I like that. I like that a lot. We, so we can kind of ignore the follow me here. So I am going to go with a choice banded rock slide. And then I am going to spore the arm rouge, although I expect the follow me. Okay. We're gonna see follow me, which of course is, is detrimental to my to my life. But we do have the choice banded rock slide. Don't miss arm rouge. No! <laughs> that was my whole win con of team preview, man. That was my that was my entire win con of team preview. But it's okay. Because if Armourouge clicks Trick Room here, I I think Amoongus is faster under Trick Room, and I can spore the the, the Armourouge. Uh, it's it's kind of okay. I'm gonna Rock Slide, and I'm gonna spore the Armourouge because I'm faster. You're not getting your Psychic thing up. Um, yo, if you have a Lumberry, then I will concede. I will end this video early. That's fine. They don't need four battles. Well, they'll get whatever you want to call this. I don't think this is a battle if if that's what happens. But uh, I think we're okay. I think this is like a fine spot to be in. That dodge though, I feel so bad when I like did my perfect win. I mean, this was a good lead. This worked out really good. This was my best possible lead choice against the against this team. So I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of stunned at how smooth this worked out. Uh, we're gonna burn some Trick Room two here, which is nice. Rock slide. Do you want to come out again after there's a little bit of snoring? I would love to see a little bit of rock sliding. There we go. Now let's see if this one shots. It doesn't one shot. Okay, but it does two shot, which is really nice. So we're gonna go for another rock slide. And I am going to, I think the play here is to, um, I think that we want to go ahead and stay in and I want to rage powder because my Dragonite is the threat and I don't want the Indeedee to take out my Dragonite with a, like a big psychic type move, uh, I think. So let's rage powder. Obviously we'll go down to a psychic type move completely, which is kind of bad under Trick Room if the Torkoal's in the back, but I'm kind of hoping that the Indeedee just stays asleep. Okay, Armourish wakes up and goes for Expanding Force. I'm done so fun on a Thursday afternoon, man. That was that was minimum sleep. That was minimum sleep. Oh, we hung on. 
high up at berry reduced the 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 damage that we would take that's huge and dg stays asleep okay so the follow me was completely pointless but as long as this rock slide connects yes it connects on both pokemon we're kind of okay right we have an amoongus under trick room set up by my opponent we're gonna be able to spore something else i could even i could even swap my dragonite out and save it if i think i can out like if the terrain's gonna go away because otherwise it's kind of pointless but uh, a choice bandit e-speed could clutch up later on let's just see if the torquil's in the back if the torquil's in the back i think we just lose like outright uh i think we lose outright i'm pretty sure torquil's slower than amoongus I'm pretty sure Torkoal's slower. I'm looking at this thing, and I just feel like it's slower. I really do. Um, okay. Do I have a win con here? We know that Screech Extreme Speed will take out Torkoal. Yeah? And the question becomes, can Quavel take out Sylveon? Not when I can't get rid of my, my, my fairy weakness. I think that I need to sack off my Quavel. I want to say... How many, oh my gosh, I don't have enough time. Uh, I'm gonna sack off Quavel. And Amoongus is gonna go for Giga Drain on, on, on Sylveon. I, I, I can't get out of my head that I need to um, Screech the Torkoal. I, my, my brain just won't forget it. The problem is now though, is that my, my Quavel goes down and technically Quavel, I mean, technically Quavel has Protect, right? So I could have just let both my Pokemon go down protect but there's two turns of trick room left i believe so if there's two turns if there's two turns no yeah i don't know eruption goes off and kukwabel almost goes down to that uh, just that alone and now we're going to see a hyper voice throat spray i'm sure from the sylveon it's such a strong setup man it's just such a strong setup oh dude i, I i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and just say that it's the uh it's the rock slide miss although let's see if I don't miss, Torkoal comes out even sooner. Torkoal does come out even sooner if I don't miss, right? So, I think that the miss is good for me. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Amoongus is not a strong enough answer against Trick Room when Torkoal's running around. It's just not slow enough. I would need like Amoongus with Heavy Ball, but then I would have died to the expanding, I would have fainted to the expanding force. Um, so what can we do here? I can do the thing that I want, but then Hyper Voice takes out both my Pokemon. Um, is there any, is there any world in which I do anything? No, I think the game's over. Dang, and is, is this the last turn of Trick Room? It is the last turn of Trick Room. I can't even E-Speed because of the, the terrain, which definitely did like, I, I really needed to swap in Murkrow and not Quabble. I guess that wouldn't matter. The game is over. The game is completely over. All right, you know what? This team is really, really cool, but it absolutely does struggle against Trick Room. So that's going to be it for today's video. There's nothing I can do to win that battle there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to the Alert Zone because we're uploading a ton of Pokemon content this week. Keep it shady.